Hey guys, I have just run a massive day of errands. I've been in three states in one day and I'm just about to go do some casino camping in Laughlin and I'm gonna take you with me. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping that this video is going to give you everything that you need to dry camp or casino camp in Laughlin, Nevada. As you probably know, casino camping is getting a little bit tougher because a lot of casinos are building their own RV parks that have hookups. But as you can see from all of these RVs in this video, a lot of people come here to dry camp. Now this is the Riverside Casino parking lot that you're seeing. Don't confuse this with the Riverside RV Park, which is across the street if you need a hookup. But what's cool about this place, after calling a whole bunch of places, is that this place allows you to dry camp for 14 days, and then you can go in and re-up it for 14 days at a time without limit. And at this place, you have to register. So they know you're here, and so it's not stealthy, and you can put out your slide, and you can run your generator within the rules, and you know that there's security and it's monitored. Laughlin is right in between Lake Havasu and Las Vegas. And you guys know that there's a whole bunch of really cool boondocking to be had around this area. But if you want to stop somewhere where you can get some entertainment or get some Wi-Fi or rest for the night, this is a great place to do it. Now, instead of showing you a bunch of footage of people stealth camping or RV parks or machines that are dinging or buffets, I wanted to give you stuff you could really use. So coming up is an interview with Terry, the king of casino camping in Laughlin. And we're going to try and give you everything you need to know where you can go, what the rules are, where to get water, where to get propane. Is there a grocery store? What's the deal with that river? Can you go across it for free to the Arizona side? What's the deal with the water taxi? and much, much more. So thanks again, Terry, for all the great tips. And here's that interview, everybody. May God bless. Oh, uh, my new friend, Terry, who, by the way, everybody, is the king of Laughlin, Nevada dry camping. And he is going to tell you all about it and give you some tips. What can I say? Yeah. I think there's going to be 10,000 dry campers here in Laughlin that are going to object to that. But I will accept it as a... I'll accept it as a compliment. Thank you, Robin. Now, if you guys watch Bob Wells Cheap RV Living, you'll probably see a video that I did with Terry on that channel, either before or after this. So if he looks familiar, we um, shot that video in the parking lot of the Riverside Casino in Laughlin, Nevada, um, where there is a really cool dry camping setup here, of which, as I said, Terry is the king. So Terry, tell us about it. Some of the tricks to dry camping are where to go to get what. That is a big deal. You don't want to sit in your unit all all season. Let's say you're here from November to December or December to February or whatever in the Laughlin area. I'm not saying to stay at, at the Riverside that long necessarily. But you can. But Don has allowed it and uh, you, you, you can do it depending on the the events that are happening here on the lot. If there's events, then they'll, they'll cut back a little bit. Good to know. Totally understandable. Yeah. But what I was going to say is you don't want to sit in your motorhome. You want to get out and do things. And here in the desert in uh, November, December, January, February, March, it's absolute heaven. It is. Now, in April, we can see 100, 110, 115 degrees here. In May, we can see 115, sometimes 120. And then in the heart of the summer, we can see in Laughlin probably maybe 120, 122, wow. sometimes 125. Well, a lot of us love the Riverside because of all the activities in the Riverside. It's huge in there. It is huge. I couldn't believe everything I found in there. Several floors of just pure entertainment. Um, you've got a boat. You can go across the river to Arizona. You now can go tell to us about that. You can go to another state for nothing. Zero. So it's like, a little, it's like a little ferry, right? And it picks you up right here. There's, there's a walkway that goes between the casinos called the River Walk. And the boat picks you up right down at the bottom of that, right? Every few minutes the boat will come across, pick you up, and take you across the river to Arizona. 
And then when you want to come back, you just walk down to the dock. It'll come and pick you up. And there's a parking lot right there. So you could park over there and take the river boat over here. But what's over on the other side? I mean, right there, if they wanted to walk. Right there, if, if you wanted to take the boat across and then walk, mm -hmm. you've got one of the best uh, membership companies in the world. Sam's Club is over there. You've got, uh, I think, uh, Taco Bell. You've got... Uh, Home Depot. Home Depot. Mm -hmm. I think you, you've got several restaurants over there near Taco Bell. And McDonald's. And um, just uh, sometimes we grazers, we like to go to Sam's Club on Saturday and Sunday to have dinner. I mean to, uh, sorry. Partake of the samples is what Terry is saying. I just, I just take a bit here and there. <laughs> I'm wasting away to nothing. Okay, so you were talking about resources. So that gets you out. Is there any other, like what's the deal with the water taxi? Uh, the water taxi is a little different animal. Okay. That water taxi goes to all the casinos, stops okay. at all the casinos, goes up and down the river here. This is the Colorado River. And by the way, talking about the Colorado River, this is river water for California. It is crystal clear year round, and you can drink it year round right out of the river. I do it all the time. All well, it the is time. very clear, I have to say. So does it cost anything to take the taxi? Yes, it now costs five dollars. For thirty years or so, it was free to take the water so taxi. Five dollars for a day or for each ride. Five dollars for one-way trip from mm -hmm. the riverside. Even if you go next door to the Aquarius, it's five bucks. Good to know. In Good the old know. days, it was free, and people would ride it all day long. It was wonderful. Where do you get your water and your propane and dump your tanks in Laughlin? You don't. That's not kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> what you do for propane? Uh, there are uh, parks around here, like Ridgeview Park up there. You might be able to buy propane up there. I believe there's a service station up here way on the way out of town near Harris where you can buy propane. Uh, I'm not sure if you can buy propane at this station right down the street here or not. I actually got propane when I first... <laughs> I came and set up and then realized my propane was at zero, which never happens to me, but it's been cold and I've been running my furnace and I hadn't kept track of it. So I went right across the street, actually. The Riverside has an RV park, in a pay RV park with hookups, in addition to being able to dry camp here for free. And so I went over there and got my propane, but then uh, you know, a little local person told me that it's much cheaper down the street at a gas station. Yes, it is cheaper. And I, I, forgot, I forgot all about that service, yes. The RV park right here across the street owned by Don Laughlin uh, is wonderful. It's very inexpensive camping if you want hookups, electric, uh, sewer. But you know what? I have to say, I went over there, and it's just like here. It's a parking lot. But, you you know, this is why solar is so important. That's true. Because it was $27 a night to be in a parking lot over there with a hookup or free to be right here across the street because I have solar panels. That's right. No problem. And, and psychologically, when you have solars on the top of a big rig like this, psychologically, it's, it's so very relieving to know that that will run everything. Yeah. But what if you wanted to actually hook up and fill up your water tank? Okay, that would be um, over there also. Oh, really? For, I think, um, is it $5? You can drive up to that Riverside uh, RV park, and you can dump your sewer dump your gray water, wash your sewer water out, your tanks, and you can also fill up with fresh water up there, all for $5. Oh, that's great. I think it may be eight. It may be eight now. It might be. That's ringing a bell with me. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's gone So you, ha you have a 60-gallon water tank. At least, yeah. Do you? Is it? Oh, I'm... 50 yeah, or 60. 50 or 60. Mine's 30. Um... So I've really become a fan of finding other showers, which I thought I would hate. Um, I never thought I would like a campground shower, you know, like, eh, 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 but I <laughs> They're have fine. ended up loving it because I use my shower for storage. That's right. So if you have to do it, you have to do it. Now, I had a shower three weeks ago, so I'm okay. You smell great. Thank you. There's some cologne happening in here. Lots of cologne. Lots of cologne. Um, so you don't know any, like if there was somebody who lived in a van, for example, and they wanted to come here. You don't know of any shower facilities? Um, 
people have been known to crash some of the hotels. I'm not recommending it. They've been known to crash some of the hotels. Go into the pool area. There's uh, always bathrooms there. Gotcha, gotcha. Always showers near the jacuzzi. Gotcha. I was really hoping that they have public showers in the laundry. There's there's laundry also across the street, but it says for paying RV campers. Now, on. there there are showers across the street at the riverside. And uh, I think that in the old days, I don't know about now, but you could get tokens for them. Oh, really? Either buy the tokens or... Sometimes if you're gambling, they'd give you free tokens. Oh, that's good to know. In the old so days. So if you're dry camping here at the Riverside Casino, you can walk across the street, dump your tank, get water for not very much money. No. And Terry's saying he thinks they have showers over there too, which is great. I swim in So it. I was um, surprised and impressed and irritated with the registration process here. Um, maybe you didn't go through this, but... Um, I, I did a little video on this that you guys might see in the intro, but what's nice here is that they do have you register at the desk. I understand it's some other places like the Avi. If you're RVing, she's if you're talking RVing, about. If you're RVing, yeah, thank you. If you're dry camping in here, you can actually stay a night. They don't bother you. But if you're going to stay longer, they, they want you to register. Else you'll get a little sticker um, getting in trouble here. But... Um, you have to go to the desk, which is just right inside the door here, so, you know, not a terrible long walk. Like you have someplace. to show your insurance and Yeah, still. you didn't have to do that? Um, you haven't done it yet? Don, I haven't done it yet. Okay, I'm going to tell him what the process is. And I, you know, I think it depends on who's working, because here's what happened with me. I walked in, and they have a little sign there that says you have to show your driver's license, proof of insurance, registration, and you have to have a player's card from inside. And then they call security to come out to your rig um, and just make sure you're self-contained, which is good. And I guess they just started doing this. Maybe last time you were here, they weren't doing this. They do it, then they don't do it. Um, yeah. They, I heard they had some problems. But the other casinos that aren't doing this, I heard they might be having some problems. So it's nice from a safety perspective. You know that everybody here is legit and security is keeping an eye on things. But then security has to come out and check the rig. And then you sign a form and they you know, knock off all the boxes. And then you can take the form in and they give you the sticker. Well, when I went in with my form, they said, okay, now we need your registration and insurance and license. And I said, I didn't bring any of that with me. The guy just checked it all and they said, well, we need it also. So I had to walk back out and walk back in and get the player's card. So that was kind of a process my first day, but they give you a sticker, you're good for two weeks. And then you can go in and update it indefinitely. Every two weeks, they'll let you stay here. Like you said, unless maybe there's a special event. That's going by the rules, and that's the right way to do it. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that everybody on this this lot has done that, but uh, Every, they should. So We're, what's the deal with the other casinos? I mean, I know the Tropicana, you can stay in for $7 a night, but they charge you. I heard the Avi is free. Yes, so it is. So maybe they're kind of skirting that. The Avi has a free area and a, a KOA area where you can pay. I called probably five casinos before I got here um, to see what the rules were and all of them that I didn't call the Avi but all of them except for this one said they did not allow overnight camping although I'll tell you a week and a half before I got here um, I stealth camped at the Colorado Bell for a night and it was clear that the 40 other RVs in there were not empty although everybody was really quiet it I didn't, happens I didn't put my slide out you know I was quiet um, so I'm sure that that happens a lot here. But what's what's nice about the Riverside is you can run your generator, and they have rules that the generator has to be off at 10. It's very quiet in here. I have been surprised at how quiet it is. You can put your slide out. It's not like you're stealth camping and you have to be worried. You just have to go through the hassle of registering. Basically, Terry. I know. <laughs> I will, I will. So no problem here getting uh, water, dump. Uh, what about groceries and trash? Groceries. Most of us, unless you need a little milk, you can go to Family Dollar, which is across the street and mm -hmm. down a bit, mm -hmm. um, or convenience store at the service station. Most of us go across the bridge, Arizona side, and then down the 95 to the, I believe it's a Safeway it's store. Things, but here's the Riverside right here, and then behind us here is the Aquarius. And it's a short walk between the two. You know, they both, of course, have buffets and stuff like that. But there is a great coffee shop. There's McDonald's, Subway, a Cinnabon, um, Panda Express. And the Cinnabon is the dietetic, by the way. So don't worry about that. I'm kidding. 
and there's a fat burger. Um, but you know what I found the other day is right next to the McDonald's, which is inside the Aquarius, there's a great little convenience store. I was able to get some water there and... I they, didn't know they, that. Yes. I'm here for you. I should. T thank you. Yeah. Would they, you marry me? Oh, <laughs> they had uh, bananas and apples. That was about it for produce. But they had some some food and some frozen stuff. And I mean, if you want chips, it's over there. Um, yeah. Can't beat that. But okay. So if you come here to dry camp at the Riverside, register. But then it's free. Unlimited days. You just have to register every 14 days. You can get water. You can get propane. Um, you can dump your tanks close by. There's lots of food options. There are trash cans out in the parking lot, which yes. I just realized, which is so smart of them. Um, and then when you're ready to go, there are a bunch of really beautiful natural places. I'm headed out to, um, I think, Telephone Cove tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds great. Christmas tree passes right up here. You can go up to Lake Mojave, which is just... Four miles. Just, yeah, <laughs> right up here. Yeah. And uh, Catherine Landing is up there. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. This is beautiful So this country. is a great way station, even if you're into boondocking in public lands. This is a great stop. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. This has been great. This is my new friend, Terry. I'm yeah. sure we'll see each other again. I'm so lucky. All right. Ah. Thank you. <laughs>